at about half past 12 yesterday afternoon, police were called to this Tullamarine house in Melbourne's northwest, and inside they found the bodies of 42-year-old Katie Perinovich and her three small children, seven-year-old Claire, five-year-old Anna and three-year-old Matthew. Uh, outside was 48-year-old Tomislav Perinovich, the husband and father of the four who were found dead. Uh, he was the one who called police and he is currently assisting police with inquiries. But aside from that, basically nothing is known about what happened here yesterday. Police say they are treating uh, the four deaths as suspicious, uh, but they're not looking for anyone else in relation uh, to the, the incident uh, and no charges have been laid. And they were very clear in their wording yesterday just to urge people not to draw any or make any assumptions about what happened here as the investigation is very much in its infancy um, and that it would be grossly unfair to make any assumptions at this point. And how are neighbours reacting? So neighbours uh, this morning have again expressed their shock and sadness at the death of Katie and her children. They've described her as a loving mother and a friendly neighbour who would always uh, walk by and, and say hello as she was walking down the street with her kids. Here's a bit of what friend and neighbour Marie Groves had to say earlier this morning. It's hard. It's still, it still hasn't really sunk in properly. It hasn't sunk in that I'm not going to walk out the door and see her walking past to the milk bar and picking up pizzas with the kids and... You know, I'm not going to be able to be at the park and, and see Matthew jumping on the trampolines. It's, yeah. So it's fair to say this is a really shocked and sad and small neighbourhood uh, community. And sadly, there are no answers uh, mm. for them just yet. Yeah. And Beth, any indication from police if there's going to be any media conference today or that's just not clear yet? It's just not clear yet. It's, mm. uh, there's a few police and detectives here, but as I said, very much in its infancy. Yep. OK, Beth Gibson reporting there from Tullamarine in Melbourne. And if this story has raised any issues for you, you can get help by calling the National Sexual Assault and Family Violence Counselling Helpline 1800RESPECT, which is 1800 737 732.